if m and n are two positive integers such that 7m plus 11n is equal to 200, then the minimum possible value of m plus n is. What can we say about the minimum possible value of m plus n? That uh, coefficient of m is 7, coefficient of n is 11. As we increase the value of n, m will decrease, right? So, we can reach 200 uh, easily when n is maximum and m is minimum and then m plus n will also be minimum. So, let us try to maximize n here. So, what will happen? Can I say that uh, 7 m plus 11 n is 200 or we can say that we need to find the minimum value of m. So, 11 n is equal to 200 minus 7 m or we can say 11 n is equal to now break it into two parts. One of them is multiple of 11 which is 198 plus 2 minus 7 m. Now, left hand side is a multiple of 11. So, right hand side should also be a multiple of 11. What is the minimum value of m for which this will become a multiple of 11? m1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. If I take m is equal to 5, 2 minus 35 will become minus 33, which is a multiple of 11. So, if I put m is equal to 5, so what will happen? 35 plus 11n is equal to 200 or 11n is equal to 165 or n is equal to 15. If n is, m is 5, n is 15, we can say m plus n will be equal to 20 minimum. Now, if you want to understand it in different way, <coughs> if this is not clear to you guys, then let me tell you that one integral solution that we get here is when m is 5, n is 15. Now, next value of m and n, what will happen? Value of m, if I increase it with the coefficient of n, so this will become 16 and uh, 11 plus uh, 11 plus 5 is 16 and next value of n will decrease with the coefficient of n. This will become 8. So, 16 plus 8 is 24 which is bigger than 20. Still, you will get the same answer 7 into 16 plus 11 into 8 is nothing but 200. Then the next value of m that we can take increase it by 11. This will become 27. Decrease it by 7. This will become 1. 27 into 7 is 189 plus 11 is 200 but the sum of m plus n is 28 which is bigger than 20. So, that is why I am taking the maximum value of n to minimize the sum of m plus n here.